Hey guys, what's up? Tobaloco here, and today we are back with the Subscriber World Cup. We haven't done a World Cup one in such a long time. We've been messing about with leagues, Champions Leagues, and it hasn't been very successful. So I figured I'll just go back to the old model, considering that it is the anniversary of the 2018 World Cup. The first one, you know, one year anniversary. Great World Cup, so I figured why not do an international one and just keep it international from now on, because... You know, it's just easier and it's easier to track. It's, it's so simple. I don't know why EA don't make simple games anymore. But anyway, let's just get into this, shall we? We've got the groups. Pretty much everybody that entered got through. So let's who, see who we got. Um, group A, Lesotho or Letufu, however you want to say it. Snowball, San Marino, uh, Matt Belton and uh, several other people as well. Uh, India, uh, Froxita Sharp, Turkmenistan, Lee Jones. Group B, Gambia, NKX, Bosnia, The Mig Pig. England, shared between Ryan Brown and FIFA Cameron. And Paraguay, CTL94. Group C, Denmark, uh, is Nicholas Jakobsen, uh, Mexico, um, Jorge Mar Marquez and um, Carl's Constant. They're shared. Uh, Senegal is Kendall Alamasulu. I think I got that right. Serbia is also a shared nation between uh, Ludikovic and Canadian Syrup. Uh, Group D, Holland, is Paul Magacci. Switzerland is Eamon A. Iran is It's Erfan. And Greece is the Greek. Not surprising there. <laughs> Hungary, Andre TM. Colombia, Fasal Pistaki. Jamaica, another shared nation between Fern Batik and Ma Michael Gregorio. Uh, Qatar is apostrophe 553. Japan, a shared nation between Elizabeth Bradley and P. Kelland. Brazil is Fizz Alam. Germany is Lachlan Culligan. And Russia is Russian Bull. Group G. Uh, USA is Little Gucci, Moldova is just David, Israel, Edison Moraes, Venezuela, Diana Griffiths, and then Group H, you've got Hong Kong, represented by myself, Toba Loco, Armenia, Adele Wish, Wales, Magma Boy, and Cyprus, Otto Fresh. There are your people that are playing today. Let's see who can win this anniversary edition. Let's go for next time, if we're going to do this, let's go for what? Nations, international nations, but only from uh, South America, North America and Africa. Why? Because June, we've had the Gold Cup, the Africa Cup and the Copper America. So let's celebrate it by picking nations from only those um, confederations. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get 32 of those. No, none from Europe, Europe, Asia, or um, Oceania. None of those. We don't want to see that. All right, let's do this then. Let's save it just in case the game decides to crash. Okay, so I'm following my own nation, which is Hong Kong. I'm against Armenia. You all know who you are, so I'm not going to read off again unless I get into the uh, the semi-finals and the finals. Let's advance. Let's let's go. Right, so we've got to simulate it. I'll check the groups after three simulations, as we all know. Let's see if I can beat Armenia. Let's have a look. Yes, I did. I did beat Armenia. Yes, that's good by Hong Kong. Nice one. All right, um, let's go to the next match then, which is against Wales. Can I beat Wales? It looks doubtful. Come on, show me. If I beat Wales, that'd be insane. Oh, a 1-1 one, one draw. So I think I'm through, which is nice. I picked a smaller nation so that I didn't have a chance of winning, but <laughs> I, I, I think I'm out of the group, I think. Okay, so I'm against Cyprus, which are in fourth place. I'm sitting in second, um, so a little bit precarious. Let's just simulate it. Okay, I failed. Great. <laughs> that was a quick one. Okay, so what we're going to do is simulate the rest of the tournament. We'll find out the overall winner, and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay. So this is a bit of a random one. I should have picked. I should have followed someone who was a little bit bigger, but never mind. Let's simulate it. The rest of it. I see a sm few smaller nations in there. Okay, England won it, which was shared between FIFA Cameron, 
and uh, Ryan Brown. So you are both winners. Congratulations. Germany, second place. That was Latchen Culligan. Well done. You got runner up. Okay, let's advance to the awards. Um, basically, Germany mopped up in those awards. Nice one. Um, right, we're going to have a look at the groups and see where people came because we want to see it sort of thing. So Turkmenistan and India went through um, with five points each. Group B, Bosnia and England go through. Gambia and Paraguay pretty scabbed out, I think. I mean, probably on goal difference there, but imagine if Gambia got up above England on that one. Uh, unlucky, though, to the people that... The, to, to you both who um, picked those two. Mexico and Denmark go through. Denmark only narrowly, though. Uh, Group D, uh, Netherlands and Switzerland go through. Greece getting unlucky there. Uh, Group E, Colombia and Hungary go through. Jamaica again unlucky all the time that I see people pick Jamaica. It, they, it just never happens for Jamaica. One day it will, one day. Uh, group F, which is like sort of a group of death, um, sort of thing. Germany and Brazil survived that one. Russia just miss out on that one and Japan go home with nothing. Uh, group G, United States and Venezuela go through. Uh, and then Group H, Armenia and Wales went through. My team, Hong Kong, falling just short at the end on the last match, I bet. So let's go into the, uh, the tournament tree and see what happened between people, shall we? So you all know, obviously, who you are. We already know that England won, Brian Brown and um, FIFA Cameron. Germany, Latchin Culligan. Brazil came third. That was Fizz Alam. So well done. And then fourth, Paul Magachi with the Netherlands. So let's have a look at what happened around them, as you can see on the screen. So reading left down, you've got Brazil beating Colombia 2-1. United States beating Wales 2-0. Uh, England edging by... Turkmenistan 2-1. So Turkmenistan did not one against them, but very unlucky there. Um, Mexico beat Switzerland 1-0. And then in the quarters, uh, Brazil beat uh, USA 2-0. And then England beat Mexico 2-0. And then England went on to beat Brazil in the semis. And that's how we ended up with the final and the third place playoff. Reading on the right, Germany smash uh, Hungary 5-0. Uh, so unlucky um, Andre TM. Uh, Armenia surprisingly beat Venezuela on penalties 4-3. That's quite a good match. Bosnia got past India 3-1 uh, despite India getting a goal there. Netherlands versus Denmark that ended 2-1. And then you got Germany beating Armenia 5-0. So they've had an easy path to the final a little bit. Only a little bit. Um, and then the Netherlands beat Bosnia 2-1. And then Germany East, well, the squeeze, sorry, passed um, the Netherlands 5-4 on penalties. And that's how we got our Subscriber World Cup. So, you all know who won. It was obviously, like I said, Ryan Brown and FIFA Cameron. Congratulations. Runner-up, Latchin Culligan. Fizzalam, third. And Paul Magachi, fourth. So that has been your Subscriber World Cup for the month of June. So I want to do one in about in about two, three weeks time. Like I said, with only nations from uh, South America, North America and Africa. None from Europe, none from Oceania and none from Asia to celebrate, I guess, the three tournaments that are going on right now. We're going to keep it international from now on, despite it not being World Cups or anything like that. Uh, I'll change up the the... I guess I'll just change the, the rules every time. So say if like the, the Euros are on, I'll just say, oh, only European teams only or something like that. Um, but that's how we're going to do it. It's just so much easier than uh, messing around with FIFA 19 because the interface of FIFA 19 isn't that friendly for stuff like this, like simulations. But this is perfect for it. So I want to keep going. It, get, it means that I can get you guys involved as well and playing along with something and hopefully one day if it ever got big we could maybe do some prizes potentially if my channel got bigger i don't know <laughs> anyway this has been toba loco i hope you've enjoyed this episode of the subscriber world cup leave a like comment your nations and i'll see you again for the next video mm -hmm.